Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. My name is Crystal and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Macari, ThreadUp, and The Real Real. And all that means is that I sell people's junk on the internet for a profit and that is how I pay my bills. We are one month into this journey of being full-time and we are not homeless yet, so we're doing something right. <laughs> um, today we're gonna just do a thrift haul. I think I'm gonna continue doing these. People really like to search um, by location to kind of see what's happening at other bins and I do the same thing. So I'm gonna let you know what I picked up at the Nashville bins. This thrift haul is actually from both bins. There's one on Cockrell Bend and then there's one on Berry Hill. They're about 20 minutes apart from each other and I spent all day just about, I did not get there at open. Like, let me not lie to you and say that I was there at open because I was not. I got there about, no, like 10 o'clock. I got there about 10 o'clock. Um, I took a lunch at one, went back in to the one on Berry Hill. So I did two checkouts on Berry Hill and then I left and went to the one on Cockrell Bend and I basically closed that place down. So. I actually didn't get that much stuff for being there as long as I was, but I was in desperate need of inventory. So I was like, I need a full day focus. And this is the result of that. So, um, and a couple of these pieces have already sold and I will let you know as we're going through them, what has sold. I also try and give you sizes in case you are interested in any of the pieces for yourself or even to resell or whatever. Um, so if you're interested in anything, please let me know and we can work something out that's off the platforms via PayPal so that the fees are much lower and I'm able to offer you a lower price. So that's that. And we're going to get right into it because there is a, I want to say a ton of stuff, but that's not even true. So anyway, if you are enjoying this video at any time, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. Also, if you are liking reseller content and you want to continue to learn you want to see when this stuff sells and how much it sells for i also do mail out monday videos so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and make sure that the bell notification is on so that you get updated every time i upload a video and you never miss a thing all right i'm going to start with shoes because they're a lot easier to throw on the floor or something um i have talked about it before where there's constantly dog hair everywhere like it's flying around it's in my nose like it's all over the place i have three dogs if you don't know um and they shed like crazy no matter what i do so um i try and be respectful of the things that i'm selling and also kind of to limit the amount of cleaning that i have to do on the items afterwards so i try not to put anything on the floor i try to take from one bag and put to another bag on the other side so we're going to start with shoes that way I can put those and then I'll have the bag to put stuff in. You didn't need all that information. But, I mean, I don't get to talk to people all day. So, you guys are my co-workers and I'm talking to you. Maybe a little more than I should. So, sorry. <laughs> okay. These are just bobs. Um, actually, a couple of my friends have these because we are obsessed with dogs. Obviously, dog hair. Um, these just have pictures of dogs on them like cute little graphic these are a size seven so they're a little too small for me because I actually would have kept these on uh, for myself I love I actually prefer Tom's over Bob's but I would have kept these because of the dogs um, they have a little bit of wear obviously on the bottom but overall in pretty good condition and Bob's apparently come with memory foam so in an arch pillow so that's very fancy Bob uh, Bob's, I believe, is made by Skechers. So, interesting enough. Okay. These are right on the top, and I'm going to show them to you. These did not come from the bins. I actually picked these up off Facebook Marketplace. These are, uh, patent, like, leather, pink, Doc Martin. These are kids. Um, I paid a little bit more for these than normal. Um, these are size 10. And they're in really good condition. I mean, kids' shoes, for some reason, usually are, which is weird. Maybe because they're always being carried. Um, they do have a zipper. And I apologize, guys, for 
scratching my nose. My grandmother gets on me all the time. You probably see it in every video because I say it. But there is dog hair everywhere. And it is in my nose. And like if I stopped the video every time I had to scratch my nose, it would take me three hours to film this. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I think that's the only thing in this bag that did not come from the bins. <clears throat> this is also Doc Martens. These are adults though. Um, and they're like a canvas. So these look like, um, like Converse or Vans, like similar style sneaker. Um, and they don't have like a big Doc Martin. I know that they're Doc Martens because of the stitching and it does say Doc Martin in here. Well, Dr. Martin right here. Um, and they're a size eight, which I believe is a men's size eight, but I don't know. Um, the bottoms are in pretty good condition. These had some, yeah, right here. I cleaned these up a little bit, but wasn't able to get everything. So there's like a little bit of like, I don't know, bin gunk kind of like right here. These could probably be run through the wash and they would be fine, but I don't want to run them through the wash in the event that I might ruin them. So I listed them as is. Everything is already listed. These are another pair of bobs. I got these for the same reason. They're very similar print, dog print again. These are a sneaker though with like an elastic back right here. Um, these are very cute as well. These are also a size seven, so I bet the same person donated these. Um, and the bottoms are pretty clean. It does have some scuffing right here. Um, and the soles, like the white part of the soles could use a cleaning, but overall in pretty good condition. Size seven. Next, this is a pair of Vans, pink and white check. I believe this is a kid's or like a very small woman's. It's a size five and a half in women's, so small. Um, and a size four in men's, which I don't think I even know a men. Like, are there men that have size four feet? Maybe. Um, the white part on here is a little dingy. It's not showing up great on camera, but just take my word for it. Um, so they come off as a little bit more cream because they're dirty. You can kind of tell right there. Yeah, um, but these always sell very well for me, the checkered vans, no matter what the color is. And honestly, no matter what the size is, so I always pick those up. <clears throat> this is Sam Edelman. I have almost stopped picking up Sam Edelman altogether. I'm sorry, like there must be dust in these shoes. <coughs> Gosh, okay. Anyway, these are pink and black snakeskin. These are in very good condition. These are a size seven and a half. And these are called the Felicia, I believe, Felicia Ballet Flat, which is one of the only styles of Sam Edelman that still does okay for me. Um, so I picked these up because they're in really good condition and they were at the bins, so. Next. Okay, someone please tell me if these are not good because this is the third pair of J-slides that I've picked up. And I saw the other two listed. They have not gotten very much attention. These are pink. They're not as like brassy as they look in the ring light. Um, they're like a rose gold kind of with a big bow, like a platform kind of base. Um, and they are a size six. So again, another smaller size. And they do have a little bit of scuffing. Can you see it on this one? Yeah, right here they've got a big like scuff and then they've got another little one on this side. I don't think they have anything on the other shoe though. Oh yes, they do. They have one little mark right here as well. So the bottoms are a little dirty, but overall pretty good condition on those as well. Two more pairs of shoes. These are just a pair of Dolce Vita, not DV, actual Dolce Vita. They're just a pair of sneakers. They're like suede in pretty good condition. You can see the Dolce Vita logo maybe. Can you see that? I don't know. 
when I'm editing these, I always, I'm like, yeah, duh, they can see it. But when the ring light is in my face, I can't see what's like happening on the camera. So sorry. These are a size seven and a half. And they do have like a little bit of wear on the toe. Um, it's like kind of pilling a little right here. Um, I think these are very cute though. I would totally wear these. Oh, you can also see the Dolce Vita on the back, which again, I don't know if you can see. All right. Oh, these have a little bit of whatever that is, dirt or something. And next, last for the shoes. This is a pair of Justin cowboy boots. Justin boots always do very well for me. They are very expensive retail. Um, these had a bunch of like gunk on them. I cleaned them up. So nothing and they're in pretty good condition. They have like a little bit of discoloration up here. What size are these? 11 E. I don't know what E is, but they're in a size 11 E. I believe these are men's as well. So, but the bottoms are look good. Sweet. Oh, there's a little bit on the other boot, like a uh, pulling out right here. But like there's no holes or anything. It's just like a little bit of wear, I guess. I don't know how you would describe that really. And the toes are kind of creased in, which I'm sure that would just like pop out when you put your foot in here. But, or you could like maybe pack it with like tissue or something. I don't know, how do people store their shoes? Okay. I never really think of this through. See, these are the Marshalls bags that I moved from one side to the other. I think I might actually leave that here and maybe try and put them there. I don't know. You'd think with all of the haul videos I do, I would get better at this, and I have not. This is a crossbody purple beautiful. This is a Toomey. Um, I've heard that this brand does well. I've yet to pick it up, so I'm excited to try this. I think it's a crossbody purse, but it actually might also be like a laptop thing. The inside is immaculate. Um, and it's got this little sleeve right here. So I guess like you probably put a tablet or something in there. Um, and then it's got, let's see on the other side, little like compartments. This is in really good condition. The zipper does get stuck right here. It always zips, but it's just a little bit harder on that corner. Um, and the strap is in really good condition, which I think I said before, but most of the time when I pick things up at the bins that are bags, the straps are almost always like torn up. So it's always impressive to me when they're not. Next, I just got this because it was new with tags and it was a plus size. This is Old Navy. Um, it doesn't actually have the price on it, which is interesting. It just says oldnavy.com. It's a size extra, extra large. And it is a maroon like floral print long sleeve dress um it's always hard for me to show you the things that are longer like pants and dresses because i don't know it's hard for me to back up even folding this look at this folding this on my body has little dog hairs everywhere okay well I'm going to attempt to not let anything else touch me, but who knows what's going to happen. So this is Lucky Brand. Again, I just picked it up because it's plus size. I think it's a 1X. It is green and blue. A little V-neck. Has a cute trim. Okay, this I noticed when I was photographing that it had flaws. I still listed it. I put it on auction on eBay because it's not worth as much now that I have that I've seen the flaws. This is Matilda Jane for adults, size extra small. It is just a like teal popover blouse, floral, but here are the flaws. On both sides of the cuffs, somebody ripped it. I don't know if they did it intentionally or not, but it is on both sides. Now, could you fix this if you know how to sew? Yeah, for sure. You could add like a little like fabric panel or whatever. Um, 
and make it cute. I don't think that it will be a problem, but I don't know how to sew, so. And also, like, it's just not worth the time for me to fix it, but someone else can fix it, and I'm sure that it they could wear it and it would be fine, so. But it's on auction on eBay now. So this I originally picked to send to thread up, but then I was like, you know what? It's a 3X and it's Talbots, which I don't normally sell, but it is cute. Um, so cute plus size pieces are hard to come by. And so I'm going to try and sell this myself. It's just like a popover. It does have a V-neck. It's hard to tell because it's black. It's black and white. A little sheer. Three quarter length sleeve. It's cute. Um, I don't normally sell Talbots on my own, but thread up does like it from my knowledge very limited knowledge of thread up i picked up a bunch of other talbot pieces that were the same um oh my gosh the same size but they were not as cute and they have already gone to thread up this is already sold but i'm going to show it to you anyway i haven't shipped it out yet this is ted baker size four which somebody told me is like a european sizes or something so it's actually size 10 but who knows um, I listed it as a four. It's floral open front cardigan. I've never picked Ted Baker up before. This is the first time and it sold very quickly. It was in my mail out Monday video. If you watched that video, if not, you should go watch that after this. I'm going to put that aside because I have to ship it out. There was a lot of plus size pieces this time around, which I am not mad at because I am always trying to add plus size to my closet. This is a Torrid size four, brand new with tags. A little maroon popover has a uh, pocket on each like breast and it has uh, tab sleeves, which is what this is when they roll up and button right there is called a tab sleeve. This retailed for $44.90. This is also new with tags, but not plus size. This is Marmot, which is like an outdoorsy, like hiking type of brand. It is also maroon and like yellow striped tank top. It's called the Leah tank top. It's a racer bag, size medium. And it's got this weird little pocket, which I'm not really sure what that's for. And it's got the big spell out, Marmot, 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 I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Next, this is another Torrid piece, Torrid size 2. This is just a tank top, which we're not really in tank top season anymore, but this would be super cute underneath like an open front cardigan, gray or black or other colors that might match with peach that I'm like I don't really know matching very well um, and the back is like let me see if I can show it to you it like opens right here so that's interesting it is buttoned all the way down but I think they're faux buttons oh no they're real buttons so toward size 2 it's like a peachy orange with like I don't know what kind of flowers poppies maybe I always feel like when I put floral it's like so vague because everything's floral I don't know this who knows how this is gonna do anthropology stuff does not do well for me but I might end up sending it to thread up if it doesn't sell for me it's just tiny which is an anthropology brand Long sleeve blue floral dress, very boho. Um, it's got like button sleeves. It's got pockets, so that's always nice to have in a dress. And again, I can't show the dress very well because it's too long. But everything will be listed in my Poshmark closet if you're interested in seeing pictures of everything um, because they're all ready photographed. So. This is Lou and Gray for Loft, which I didn't even know they did stuff for Loft, so I learned something new. Here's the tag. Focus. There it is. Lou and Gray for Loft. Um, and it's a size medium. I picked it up because it's a very cozy, like, cream or white and black sweater. 
It's got a hood. It feels very cozy. Like, I wonder what this is made out of. This is a size medium, in case you were wondering. And the fabric content is 75% cotton, 21% rayon, and 3% other fibers. Whatever that is, and it probably has dog hair on it now that I just touched it to myself. But this is very cute. It is very heavy as well, so I probably paid a little bit more for this than everything else. Next is... This is Lane Bryant, size 18. It has shoulder pads. It's a gray and black polka dot blazer. It's got two buttons. It's very cute. And then this is Athleta, size medium. It's like an asymmetric zipper, Gamoto style kind of jacket, but it is like a, it's not like leather, it's like a cloth. And it's got zip sleeves, very cute. This is the first thing I picked up and I was like, I love that. And it's got like a quilted, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's got like a quilted pattern just on this like front panel. And this is a size medium. Okay, these actually are also already sold. This is a pair of Nike Pro compression running shorts, dry fit. I think they were size extra large. Those sold on Macari for 22 bucks. And then another pair of shorts. These are Under Armour, which don't do as good with like a lime green waistband and then they're just like a light gray these are not compression though these are just like a regular running short heat gear loose fit size medium a lot of times I'll pair this with like a, an under armor tank top or something like that and bundle it up I did not do that this time because I didn't have anything to bundle it with okay and the rest of the things in this bag are just things that the Rod Up sent back to me that I listed this week. So that is it. I didn't count how many items. So I spent probably 25 ish dollars. I don't know. I did it in three separate trips. So I didn't get like one total. So I would have had to add it up, which I didn't do yet. So, but I photographed all of this stuff. By the time this video goes up, everything will be listed on Poshmark and all the other platforms. So if you have a platform you prefer to look at things, then you can go and check that out. Everything is linked in the description down below. Um, and if you are brand new to any of those platforms and you wanted to sign up, I also have some referral codes that are down in the description. And for Poshmark, I think you get $10 when you first sign up. And then I get $10 when you first purchase something off of Poshmark at any time. Um, and then Macari, I think, is also doing some sort of like you get five, I get five type thing if you use the referral codes in the description. So those are there for you if you want to see them. Um, if you are interested in anything in this haul, check it out on any of those platforms. And then shoot me a DM on Instagram. That's the best way to get in touch with me. It's very hard for me to comment back on something like if you comment on Poshmark, they don't like the for you to um, do business elsewhere. So they flag a lot of the words, like I wouldn't even be able to tell you to email me or anything like that. So best bet is to just go ahead and DM me on Instagram, which I will put up my Instagram right here. And then there's also a link in the description to get to Instagram as well. If you're not following me on Instagram, consider doing that. Um, and let me know that you came over from YouTube and I always like to know if people are coming from YouTube to Instagram or from Instagram to YouTube. I don't know why I like to know that, I just do. It's just like my little, a little curiosity that I have. And that is all I've got for you guys today. It is very late right now and I just filmed two videos. So I'm gonna go get some food and I'm gonna crawl up on the couch with my dogs and I think I might start watching a Christmas movie. <gasps> it's 2020, let me live my life. <laughs> Alright guys, until next time, I will see you next Monday. Bye!